I'm back here at the uh, the beach, yeah. Um, the canal. I called Public Works. I got their hotline number from the fire department. Uh, ba and I basically have been explaining to whoever I was talking to the, the basic problem and how it's very simple and very simple fix. Um, they said they were sending people over. I called them about 3. It's 3.45. Uh, I guess I'd like to just get my camera strapped back and have the problem fixed. Because the, the thing that's stupid about it, it's you. It, it's like, it's kind of like when something is something, it should, it should kind of just be that. You know, like you have pumps here, yes, the end. But it's like, yeah, you have pumps here, but they're failing, so it's like, you, you, it's like there's no guarantee. You know, and it's actually when they're failing, it's actually worse than, than nothing because of the, the possible damage and the danger to people or kids. I mean, the thing has, when it really is going, it has almost the power of a fire hose. And you can see that it's larger than your average fire hose. And I wouldn't say it's as high pressure, obviously, or maybe it could be, depending on the resistance. But the way it was acting when you had it over the railing, the more you resist, the more resistance it has, the more pressure it seems like it tries to put out. And those are uh, a fairly good size engine block. There are four cylinders, diesel. Not huge, actually, four cylinders. Probably, it's not 100 horsepower, I wouldn't say. But, you know, 100 horsepower is, you know, 80 kilowatts. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of power anyway, so, or something like that. So, uh, anyway, uh, the problem, probably the only problem, somebody just kayaked by, and that reminded me that the, the thing sitting like that, like a fire hose or a super soaker at, like, one of those amusement water parks, is that it's gonna blast when it's really going. The tide is low right now, and they're, they're still able to get water out of the drains. That's how high the, even the low tide is, or how bad the sewers are, you know. But uh, that's, if anyone's passing by, that's, you know, having them blast like that seems bad, but it's, you know, it's still not as bad as if it's flying all over the place, all over the street, you know, and just going nuts, like a, like a, like a, 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 a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flying tube man, only with a lot more power and a big giant metal thing on the end that has many pinch points, etc. So it's a very simple fix, and once it's fixed, it'll be like, you know, this area would be good to check on, but it won't be like this, you have to come here and play, you know, little street hero complex, you know, say, you know, throwing the hoses over the wall and sitting on them like an egg, like I had to do yesterday after I tied that one. That, it's, it's, it's really stupid. It's, it really is, uh, should, should be unnecessary, and I think it will be here within an hour or definitely by the high tide tonight. You know, all it needs is a, is a, a, a J, a metal J connect on the end so that it'll hook over the railing and be a rigid thing. They have one on uh, a, a Bay Road now, a new pump. It's not they retrofitted one of the pumps that's there. Looks like they took one of the hoses off the one that's there, but hooked it to a new pump with a J on the end. So the one pump just sitting there, and then the other pump is still just sitting there with the regular loose flaccid hose, just like the one here that's tied. So, you know, here we got the two pumps. There you got three now. One seems to have nothing hooked to it, though. Uh, it, and only one of them has a J piece on it, like it should. When I first saw that this morning, I thought, okay, for sure, they fixed it. They figured it out. But no, because it's, this is all still the same. My camera strap is still there. And that stupid yellow polyester rope, you know, that isn't very good to tie with, and it's squeezing the hose too much, is still there. And that hose, even with that tie, that still came out the other day because the whole end of it was just flailing around. I understand they think they want to have them down into the water so they're not, you know, make a visible, you know, blast, but that's not good, you know, to have the, it can be like that, sure, but it can't be with a fire hose dangling over a railing, you know, getting kinked. That's, that's not how it can possibly work. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter if it's a high seawall or low seawall or no seawall. It, it, it just, it has to be a certain way and then it'll all be totally fine. It's, it's, such a, it's a very simple thing. I know they're scrambling because this is the king tides and, you know, it happens every year, but somehow they, they didn't know, they weren't prepared, you know. But it's, it's not that, they, they've, done, they've gone so far, they got the right shit, they got the right idea, but it's the smallest thing that totally fucks it up. If it wasn't for me poking around, you know, it could have flooded the street to the point of where it was going in the garage again because we've had tides that were as high as the one that flooded the garage, but because the pumps were here and because I was keeping them over the wall, that didn't happen.